Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to do spot color matching with our RGB color charts. This is done, and I'm doing this with Corel Draw. Um, the first thing you need to do is you need to download the color charts from our website, of course. Um, I can show that to you. If you go to condi.com, you have to log into PartnerNet in order for, to download this, but you can come to the left to color charts and you can download the RGB color palette. Just simply click the link and it's going to download a zip file. Once it downloads, um, there's going to be 18 different files in. Each file is going to look similar to this page here. Uh, you want to open these up, print them, and sublimate them onto uh, an object similar to what you're sublimating onto. So if you do mostly um, aluminum dog tags or aluminum products, you want to get some aluminum to sublimate this onto. If you do mostly shirts and fabrics, just get a few yards of polyester fabric and sublimate this onto the fabric. From there, you can sublimate. Uh, once you have these sublimated, you can look at it and see how each one of these colors is going to come out on that product. And then from there, you can keep this for future reference. So if you decide you want to create, again, this exact color green, when you're going to design, um, We'll go to a blank document. I'm going to create a box. I'm going to go back to my color chart and I'm going to locate this color again. Now we're using RGB. So our red, green, and blue for RGB. Um, the RGB value would be red 0, green is 255, and blue is 45. So the RGB value would be 0, 255, 45. So if I now come over here to my blank document, my box, I can do a fill, I'm going to do a uniform fill, and it's going to bring up the uniform fill tool. I'm going to go to models, I'm going to select RGB, and I'm going to put those values in, 0, 255, 45. And when I hit OK, you'll notice that it's the same color they have here. Now it's going to look the same here because they're both displaying on the same screen. But if the color looks a little different, don't let that fool you. Because once you have printed and sublimated this color chart, then that RGB value is always going to print and sublimate the same. So it won't matter if this has a blue look to it. It's still going to match what you have sublimated already. You can do the same thing with objects that you already have created. If I come in here, let's say I want to change one of these colors. I'll pick this black box in the back here. I want to change the colors onto it. Again, I could go to Uniform Fill and do the same thing. Or another option, down in the bottom where I already have it filled, I can double click and it brings the window up. So I can go back to Models, go to RGB, and again, we're 0, 255, 45. You'll notice now it has changed. So it's matching the color that I've already done. If you have any questions about this or anything else we have at Condi Systems, please give me a call to 1-800-826-6332, option 2 for the first available tech, or send us an email to support at condi.com. Thank you.